Hello guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, playing with the Kaiserreich Total Conversion Mod as the Commune of France. Let us continue. Let's see if I, the game actually wants to go back in. Right, I think we're live. We're live? We're live. Good. Let us continue. Wait, what the hell? Did we... Yeah. Did we only reach like a month or two last episode? I guess we did. Um, right. So, how far are we on the direction of the economy? Oh, we can do something here. We can do... Military intelligence. Mm. I think I need to sneeze. I feel like it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, we have uh, anarchists in charge now. Totalist, 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 syndicalist, do we want the anarchist? Oh, there are none. No, we do have one here. There's just more political power, which could be nice. Oh, here as well. Oh, no, no. Anarchists are radical socialists. Decryption, encryption. Ooh, research speed. Felix Guin. More political power would be nice. I think I want the uh, yeah political specialists just more political power for now. Might change it later. No, this is not. This is political power. Uh, pause. No, wait. <coughs> How do I get that back again? Uh, whoops. The burp. Oh, here. Oh, whew. <laughs> During the inauguration ceremony and the new Committee de Salut Public at the Beaux General du Travel, BGT Chairman Sebastian Foire claimed that the triumph of anarchists' anarchiste values was also his and thus refused to step down from his position. For Nestor Magno, to whom Gurin had promised the post, it's a snob. Considering it is evidence of French xenophobia, the BGT will have to decide between Magno and the soldier and Fouad the thinker. Okay. Also, I want to say I'm suffering from a low grade fever, so I'm a bit. I don't know, slow in the head. Can you say that? I guess you can. Anyways, we have Magno the soldier and Fer the thinker. Uh, Magno, base stability down. Oof. Mm. Comrade, Camarade Fair. Who the hell is is? It? Oh, this. Uh, let's say game Magno, the Tomboskis of our time. Bonjour. Nestor Magno, Ukrainian anarchist, fled his homeland for France following German intervention in the Russian Civil War. Now his firebrand announcement of any and all state authority has secured his French elect electoral victory. His radical vision of a nation and perhaps world without government of any kind will likely not come to fruition in the foreseeable future. But his support for decentralization could forever transform the commune. Hmm. Is that a scar? I think it is. How do you how did you get these scars? Hmm. All right. Sixty six factories. That's not a lot. Oh damn, son. Black Monday. We didn't get any Black Monday. Is that because we're not the uh, capitalists? It might be. Hmm, I guess there's some bonuses on not yeah having any capitalists in your country. <coughs> you divided nation assess the army division organization minus 20 Jesus Christ Be oh, pause a peace deal 
What happened? Mm, white piece? I don't know. The Free Workers Union of Germany or Freie Arbeiter Union Union Deutschlands is an anarcho syndicalist trade union that has been operating in Germany since its creation on September the 15th, 1919. They've been. Oh, excuse me. They had been free to operate, but the German government has just decided to arrest its leaders and ban the organization. How should we react? It is too early to confront Germany. We must defend our brothers in Germany. Solidarity. <laughs> yeah. Bit too early. Not really ready. Maybe we should organize the army a bit more, actually. Let's see. Uh, hmm. What the hell? Now, you, you Hello. and you. Fine. Uh, we have... Okay. Uh, no. Nah. Take something like this. Nine. How many troops can you... I forgot. Oh, he's an actual also a general. You can control 24, right. I also want an army down here and down here. I guess we could take... You? Well, this is actually friendly territory, I guess. But still. Uh, you can. Oh, ugh. Oh, I hate this. That, just, it, that it doesn't just go all the way here. Mm. Let's see. Is this mountains? No. Let's see. You. Écoutez. Go here. Do we have any field marshals? Maurice Kemlen. We do. One here. We need a big army over here as well. Go here. Maybe one more. So. You're going down there. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. A restoration of democracy in Australasia. The Australasian Confederation has been under the authoritarian rule of Governor General William Birdwood since the British invocation of the emergency protocols in 1924. Considering by many in the nation to have been a heavy-handed response to the Melbourne Common Syndicalist Uprising, Birdwood finally relented to calls for an open election, leading to the expected results of Stanley Bruce United Australisation Party achieving a majority of government in the Canberra Parliament. And Bruce is expected to have a tough time ahead of him, with labour unrests on the rise and calls for the Revocation of Birdwood's more egregious, e egregious, egre egregious, <laughs> egregious restrictions on personal liberty. I see. Uh, these dudes. Yeah, I don't know. Go to a port. I guess that's where you belong. In a port. Direction of the economy. The economy fools. Okay, infrastructure. Ooh. 
Romandie. Wait, what? We don't own. What the hell is Romandie? Romandie. Oh. Hmm. Is that in Switzerland? <laughs> Plan Prost. So, uh, hmm. Brutalism. Oh, damn. Okay, we can take this research speed. Recruitable pop three, nice. Oh, one more research slot. Ooh. Should we try and get to that point? Maybe. The education of the French Republic was in many ways excellent, allowing the average citizen to obtain a large knowledge in the science and arts. We seek to continue working on this legacy by ensuring that French schools always have learning and education as their primary goal, not hierarchy and discipline like in some reactionary countries. Plus three research speed. I guess that's fine. <coughs> The death of Pius XI. All Christendom mourns the death of His Holiness Pope Pius XI, who died following a heart attack after having been in declining health for the past several years, something which rapidly worsened following Black Monday. The Holy Father will soon be interred with the rest of his predecessors in the tomb of the popes until the next pope can be chosen. The Papal State will be ruled by the College of Cardinals in Rome. The succession of His Holiness is made all the more important due to the Catholic Church's role in governing the reborn nation as well as its vehement opposition to syndicalism, a force which has divided the north of Italy along the river Po and once and seeks to once again reunify the Italian peninsula. How terrible. Hmm. How quaint. The Pope. College of Cardinals. Hmm. Oath. Uh, you don't like that, do you? We don't care. <laughs> Alfonso the Thirteenth. Damn. Oh, so many events. Electrosirmer International. We've been preparing for the third international since 1927. Now we are nearly ready to hold the first congress right here on Montmartre Hill in Paris build on the ruins of Sacre Coeur. For three days, the city will host delegates from almost every socialist, syndicalist and Bolshevik party from all across the world. We, the French, will take the floor first. That is, if we are still planning on hosting the first congress and continuing the work of the second international. The congress will be held a week after May Day as planned. Cancel! What a blunder. Uh, base stability up plus 16%. Yes. Hold it. <laughs> Reichspakt. Hmm. Entente. <laughs> yeah, so many interesting nations to play here. Do you also have your own? Yeah. Damn. Oh. How about Greece? Do you have your own uh, thing? Yeah, you do. National focus tree. You see what I mean? It's like massive for uh, even <laughs> like rather small nations. It's insane. Insanely good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Papal Conclave. Catholic faithful in Rome breathed a sign of release as the six Stein chapels chimney billowed forth a white smoke, signifying the election of a new pope. A short time later, it was announced that the pious and popular Iginio Cardinal Pacelli had become His Holiness Pope Pius XII, leader of the Catholic Church and head of state of Rome. 
St. Peter has a new occupant. So... Okay... It's this dude. Traditional values, okay. You can also, here yeah, with the Pope, like, try and reform the Roman Empire and stuff like that. Oh, soda. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Could be fun trying a Pope... Pope, uh, let's play. Not sure how difficult it will be, though. The First Congress of the Third International. It's time to invite the socialist and syndicate leaders who will be coming from all around the globe to attend the First Congress of the Third International. Send it out. Oh, Georgia is also... Hmm. Oh, Mexico? Hmm. I didn't know that. I see. In Georgia. Stalin? No. <laughs> okay. Diplomatic development. Tibet has joined the Great Khanate. Oh. A shared hatred for the Ma clique has led Tibet into joining Baron Sternberg's, Sternberg's faction, and the two are currently preparing for war against the clique. The alliance seems unlikely to last beyond the war, however. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Mongolia can... They have a lot of, uh, yeah... Things that make them reconquer a lot of stuff. Uh, and I will say, when I say reconquer, I mean like reconquer whatever the Roman... No. <laughs> the Mongol Empire held back in the 12th and 13th century, I guess. Anyways, choosing host city for the Spartakiade. Whatever that is. As usual, we need to start thinking about the 1937 Spartakiade. Where shall it be hosted? How many contests will it have? How many delegates will come? The most important question, however, is where we should host the Spartakiade. Is that like at the Olympics or something? A French city? A British city? A French city, of course. We should choose French city... We should choose French city which will have honor... <laughs> Uh, of hosting the 1937 Spartakiade. Paris. Isle of France. Ile de France, I guess. Dijon to show Germans we are superior. Baudouin. Marcel. I thought you were maxed in Ile de France. No. Marcel. Let's. Dijon to show Germans we are superior. Donk. Workers unrest. Oh. Workers in Western Germany are protesting against their oppressive government. This might be. This might be chance. This might be our chance. This might be a chance to weaken our mortal enemy if we are prepared for the possible consequences of such a choice. We must help them. No. Yeah, a thousand. We can spare a thousand men. All the delegates have arrived. Heads of socialists, syndicalists and Bolshevik parties, heads of state and government, foreign ministers and journalists have all arrived in Paris for the opening of the first congress of the Third International. It is time to open the doors and take the stage. The first congress of the Third International is hereby opened. Donk. Good, good, good. The chairman of the Committee du Salut Public takes the floor. That was uh, this dude, right? Daniel Gurin, or is it uh, Nester Magno? Now that everyone is assembled and the congress has begun, it is time to take the stage, the stage on open discussion. The Prime Minister took the stage first and discussed the purpose of the Third International. After the purpose of the Third International is made more clear, the discussion will begin. We must use any means to overthrow the International Bourgeoisie. Stability plus 20 damn. Okay, everyone hates us even more. <laughs> is it even possible? Jesus Christ. We are becoming the Nazi Germany of uh, our timeline. <laughs> we must go to war with everyone. Syndicalism in Spain. Joaquim Asconso Butria has taken the stage and elaborated the position of the CNT Phi. 
in Spain for the Congress. The CNT FAI is the largest syndicalist party in Spain, made up of anarcho syndicalists, moderate syndicalists, and trade unionists. The Spanish revolutionaries have uh, been seen white terror, violent counter revolutionary actions taken against the workers first hand. They have come asking for support for their cause when the moment comes. The French pledge their support and ask all other members to do the same. The CNTFAI needs no aid. Let's move on. No, no, let's support them. The revolution must spread. John Jack Reed and the Combined Syndicates. American journalist, poet, and syndicalist activist John Jack Reed spoke to the Congress for an hour and 15 minutes about the crisis facing the United States and the chance for revolution in the Western Hemisphere. Following in the footsteps of Benjamin Franklin, Mr. Reed laid out the situation in America very clearly. In the South, the American First Committee is stronger than the uh, central government and the North is suffering from a depression as the West Coast prospers. This economic imbalance has caused massive unemployment along the Great Lakes. And the people are ready for a radical change. A modern day Benjamin Franklin. They have our support. Yes. By the way, did we ever check, like... Ugh, Jesus Christ. Like... Our troops? What the hell are they, by the way? Oh, a bunch of different things. Federal seems like the most obvious one. 18. Oh, actually not that bad. Do we have any points? No. Okay. Uh, Milis? I guess that's militia. Oh. It's the same bloody thing. What are you then? Artillery. Ah. I'd rather have this one. Mm, well, oh well. On employment and radicalism in Latin America. The Latin American countries were the hardest hit of all by the stock market crash in Berlin. And there has been a great awakening among the people. Socialist and syndicalist parties grow larger by the day, paired with unemployment. We should decide our policies, our policy in Latin America, where left-wing radicalism is ripening. Begin to nurture syndicalism in Latin America. We should build syndicalism elsewhere. We must rank our priorities. Eh. Everywhere. I guess this is not good. <laughs> but is there any like... Oh. Hmm. Uh, like bad things about um, supporting well, everywhere. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Women's role in the worldwide revolution. Today, the British feminist Helen Crawford took the stage with a flaming speech about the women's role in the world revolution. According to her arguments, without women's participation in industry and armed forces, it may be impossible to defeat the many enemies of the proletariat. However, heeding uh, this call is likely to cause some disturbance among the more conservative elements of the society. Participation of working women is necessary to achieve the worldwide revolution. Women in factories send them back to the kitchen. Oh, let's just do this. Let's be radical. White terror. We heard Joaquim Asensio Butra speak of white terror horror stories that have been coming out of Madrid and Barcelona. And Kurt Eisner, Bavarian socialist, wanted to delve deeper into the topic of white terror, and he was given the floor. After hearing more stories that have come out of Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, and Finland, the Congress members were ready to make their decision. Denounce the capitalist murders and their social democratic assistance. Yes. <laughs> Everyone who is not us is uh, far right. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh, halt! Uh, policy on the Ita Italian Peninsula. The Foreign Minister of the Socialist Republic of Italy appeared before the first syndicalist Congress, making the case of supporting the Republic in its effort to reunify the Italian Peninsula in the face of the traitors beyond the Po, the Sicilian Kingdom and the theocratic vassal in Rome. 
Involvement in Italy could prove beneficial in spreading the revolution, but could lead to conflict with the reactionary Austrian Empire responsible for protecting the regime in Milan. Guarantee our friends in Torino aid when the time comes. Yes. The world economic crisis and the role of the Third International. The stage has been set for the revolution to begin. With the Berlin stock market crash, mass employment has arisen in Europe and South America and trade unions have begun to grow in both as a result. Good stuff. <laughs> the Baratia Commune asks for support. The Baratia Commune asks for support in the struggle against its neighbors, Delhi and the Princely Federation. They would like us to send military advisors to train their leaders and their troops. Send them leaders, rather. Send military advisors to train their armies. Yes. The end of the First Congress. The First Congress of the Third International has come to a close and the agenda has been met. Good stuff. Very stable here. Hooray! I guess that was the one over here. Whoops. Somewhere. Yeah. Mm, okay. Oh, nice. All right. All right. Low man power still. Yeah. What do we have here for manpower? Unlimited conscription. All right. Vol oh. Hmm. Two. I guess this is the next level. Yeah. Scraping the barrel. <laughs> <coughs> How's it going with tech? Oh, almost done. There we go. With two techs. Nice. I think I want to maybe focus a bit on tanks if possible. 36. Uh, yeah, let's get that one. Fine. Uh, I guess we want... I don't know. Dispersed? Because we have a, we get a bonus from a factory bomb vulnerability by the... Um, something over here I noticed uh, he realism 30% protection I guess it would go well with the um, with this normally we oh, we almost always take this I guess this is more role-playing ish law correct when playing like a rule France <laughs> let's take dispersed industry fine might not have been the best gameplay wise but hey we're also role-playing a bit here just a bit I was going over here, Great Britain. Okay. Labor Day. Today, all around the world, democratic, socialist, and the syndicalist governments are celebrating International Workers' Day, Labor Day, or May Day. May Day has become an international celebration of the social and economic achievements of the working class and labor movement, and is celebrated widely throughout the Commune of France. Celebration. Oh damn, almost a hundred stability. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Still no war we can like interfere in Illyria, Serbia. Do you also have your own here, Ukraine? Oh you do. Oh damn. How about white white Ruthenia? Yeah. Jesus. Don Kuban Union? No, not that one. Still. Tripolitania? Yeah, also their own. Christ. A Middle Africa. Yeah. Deal with the European. Flando Wallonian investors. What the hell is that? Oh, halt! Oh, 
is peeping. We played for 30 minutes already. Jesus Christ, it goes fast. Colonial government. Dead economy. Jesus. <laughs> uh, Annie Kenny elected chairman of the Tuk in 1936. A trade union congress in the Union of Britain was made out to be decisive. To be decisive, long-time chairman of the Took, Philip Snowden, declared his resignation, causing the four major factions of the Union: Maximists, Autonomists, Federa what? Federationists, and Congregationists, to butt heads over the position. And as the dust settled, Annie Kenny, the leader of the Congregationists, was elected the new chairman or chairwoman in this case. Kenny is one of the is, is one of the only a few female leaders on the planet, and her ideology of a radical feminist and egalitarian approach fit this situation. Oh damn, the feminazis! <laughs> Okay, interesting. Maneuvers in the Carpathians. The Treaty of Bucharest in 1918 officially ended the Weltkrieg for Romania. But at what cost? Romania was now dominated by German and Austrian industries. Most of her coastline was annexed by Bulgaria. And the Carpathian mountains separating Romania from Hungary were put under firm Austro-Hungarian control. The humiliation Romania endured resulted in its devolving into a nationalist populist dictatorship led by the conducteur Cornelio Codreanu. Codreanu and his Iron Guard set out to restore Romania to what they say it should have been, a titan of the Balkans. Their first major move is a large-scale military exercise seemingly in preparation to seize the Carpathians and perhaps the land beyond. The lands beyond. Iron Guard. You also have your nice noise. Right, we need to cut. Um, hmm. Oh, right, I should probably choose something here. The road to war. Oh, so many things. Also over here, the com communal army as well. Uh, okay, we don't really need. Ugh, I want, can't do this. We can't do this. Air fleet. Second international. Oh, we need just the event to occur before we can get down here, I guess. Okay. Hmm. French. Oh. Uh, infrastructure. Let's uh, road to war. Maybe could demand this from the Swiss or what? This is also nice. Yeah, we want that last research slot. Oh well, I'm not sure we can get any more than that, but one more would be nice. Department of Revolutionary Ideals. While the empirical teachings prove themselves easily, the virtues of the commune are harder to communicate to our population. While ominous sounding, we must create an institution ready to help us remind to our people the values of the revolution and prevent reactionary influences from influences from implanting themselves. Stability, war support, political power. I can always use that. I suppose. Uh, let's just turn this off for now. Occupied, really? Oh, <laughs> Grand Duchy. Count countries can never release na. Oh, okay. Hmm. How dull. Valonia calls for aid. Members of the Walloon resistance have reached out to Paris, requesting our assistance in the ongoing Belgian Revolution. While they have had some mild successes, recent raids on their supply points 
has drastically reduced uh, their equipment surpluses and it doesn't look like they will be able to hold out much longer on their own. We should assist them by covertly sending volunteers and supplies to try and secure the Valpo provinces for the international and liberate the workers from German oppression. Volunteers and equipment. <laughs> but so we hit the third episode, we still only played a couple of months. <laughs> There's a lot of good law in this timeline. Right, we should cut, but I just want to keep playing. Maybe play, I don't know, another five more minutes or something. Construction, nice. Let's see here, let's also get this. Coup d'etat in Siam. Siam. News emerged from Bangkok today that a group of officers and illetent... illetent... Uh, calling themselves the Kaha Ratsadon, or People's Party, ooh, has had successfully seized control of the government. Key government officials are under arrest and the king and his heirs are said to be safe and well looked after by the new government. A statement was issued by the new Prime Minister announcing that this was not a military coup but rather a peaceful transfer of power while a constitution is put in place. Concerning, I guess? Hmm, I don't see any difference. German East Asia. Hmm. Recruitable pop plus 5, recruitable pop minus 85. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the Indo-Chinese tragedy. Vietnam, 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 homeland of the south, 13 times. I have heard the outcry in front of the guillotine of Yen Bai. 13 men sentenced to death shouted it. One by one, two meters away from the climbing, away from climbing the scaffold. A French journalist, Louis Robot, Robot wit witnessed the recent brutal German crackdown in Indochina, our former colony and the current bastion of German colonialism in the Far East. Now, General Jacques Duryat, a close friend of the late Indo-Chinese revolutionary Ho Chi Minh, spoke for an intervention, intervention in Indochina. Since the end of the Welt Krieg, thousands of Indo-Chinese students, soldiers and workers have stayed in France and become firm revolutionaries. If we send them back with sufficient arms, they can organize an uprising in Indochina. This could destabilize the German colonial empire and serve the world revolution. Bon voyage, Indo-Chinese comrades, no. Bon voyage. Off you go. <laughs> Stalemate in the Social Republic of Italy. During the recent Congress of the Social Republic of Union, uh, Union of uh, whatever, uh, none of the th three factions achieved a clear majority. This would normally not be our concern, but the lack of compromise is further destabilizing an ally which is already unsteady on its feet. Perhaps we can help them choose their new government? Uh, support? I have no idea. Syndicalista. Did it work? I guess so. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. Yeah, there are also Sardinia as its own <laughs> nation. <laughs> not very powerful though. A union syndicalista achieves Italian majority. Oh, it did work. The fifth congress of the Social Republic of Italy has ended its Union Syndicalistria led by Palmiro Togliatti, continuing its mandate by achieving a majority of seats in the government. The Union Sindacalistra have held 
control in the Republic since the end of the Weltkrieg. And this continuation of the regime signals a likely solidification of the alliance with the Commune of France. Okay, oh, it was just a oh, bit of a guess from me, but... Hmm. Divided nation. Will you ever get rid of that? Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Manuel Charles assumes full control of Argentina. Argentina. When Manuel Gales executed a coup against the Argentinian state on Christmas 1935, the nation was torn apart in a vicious struggle for control over the presidency. LP and forces from the Argentinian navy quickly took control of the capital, but were stopped by forces from the army who began quickly asserting their dominance over the entire nation leading to a bloody and drawn-out struggle. With the fall of Rosario, a vital railway hub for the inner regions, Charles has proclaimed his coup a success and has assumed the presidency this afternoon after a rousing speech for his followers in Buenos Aires, promising vast territorial expansion and an end to the red terror that plagues Patagonia. He was met with a wave of enthusiasm by the struggling people of his country, deeply, un deeply unsettling. Yeah, I want to play as Argentine at some point in the future. I think that could be fun. So, these guys are syndicalists. Can we... Uh, oh, they're puppet of Chile. Are you... Oh, you also. Isn't there... I think there's a... Ideology? Yeah. So, we like all the red ones. Denmark. Oh, you're social democrats, right. Like the soft core. Uh, communists <laughs> soft call can I say that without getting demonetized probably not oh well hardly make any money on YouTube as it is a uh, Mongolia goes, went to war with my click okay mm. Godspeed Baron Ungern scourge of the steps <laughs> Mechanical computing, nice, more research speed. Uh, radar, yeah, let's get radar. That detection is horrible, as it is. Are you planning your return here? The Bastille Day celebrations. Today is the Fête Nationale, the celebration of the storming of the Bastille and the beginning of the first French Revolution. Vive la Commune. Yes. Restore the French Empire. Interesting. Balloon Common Republic has joined the Reichspakt. Oh, you split in two. Army in tatters. Oh, but you're not getting eaten yet. Can I invite you? Oh, world tension is too low. Hmm. Assuming leadership. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Valonia requests communard protection after our troops successfully assisted the resistance in bringing down the Flemish balloon re regime. The new balloon government has requested that we protect them in case Germany decides to retaliate. Protect. Did it work? Well, guaranteed them, I guess. Modify government. Oh, we can also change this. There. Can we do this? Let's do that. Right? Right, we gained a uh, hundred from this one. I see. Now let's get the this research slot. While some nations resist the teaching of science, France endorses them without new nuance. Let's support the establishment 
of a new research institute aimed at furthering our technological superiority. Where reactionaries doubt every discovery and stand wary of change, we embrace them and become stronger every year. Yes, right, but we need to cut. So, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Very much appreciate your support. And over to next time. Bye.